football has always been very personal for me. Growing up, my support system was small. It was just my mama, my dad, my stepdad, and my coaches. And that was really it. The reason why I am who I am is that I had someone who was there for me at a pivotal time in my life. That's something that I'm forever grateful for. Moving to New Orleans, the city definitely shaped me into the man that I am today. I remember my first football experience was going to a place called Harrell Park. Having another man be able to be there for you in the midst of playing the game that you love, I honestly wouldn't be here without it. We're making a difference to change the lives right here. We're not just a coach, we're a father, we're a brother, we're an uncle, we're everything. Proverbs 22, 6. Train up a child on the way he goes, and when he's old, he won't depart. Right down the street was Isidore Newman High School. And every Friday, I would always hear the crowd cheering, and I can envision myself, you know, scoring. I remember in high school at Newman, this little tiny kid coming out to the field in those big pads, and he just fell in love with it. And he kept saying, there's this football coach. The first time I met Odell was in, he was in sixth grade with long braids running around a gym, and I he didn't even know who he was yet. He's got like this Odell drawer. The one thing I have kept is his jersey. This is the last one that we have. <laughs> Nobody ignore Odell, he's a tremendous inspiration to all the kids. He has that lore around here that he kind of transcends football. Coach Stu has just taught me so much. I just wanted to be great, and he was always pushing me to be great. With Odell, he's so passionate about everything that he does with passion, sometimes can come some frustration. It's great to have a role model. And he had Coach Stu that was there to say, hey, I got your back. What's up, Coach? What's up, man? How you been? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing well, man. I tell you, been my favorite coach, like. You made me cry. Don't do it, man. <laughs> I'm telling you for real, like, you're the one that sticks with me the most. And I'm just so appreciative of you and what you did for me in my life and how you still continue to be there. Man, I love you. I'm in the same office. I'm the same guy. It's when you sat across and you said you were going pro. I'm just going to yeah. be there for you. Always, forever, Coach. Love you too, man. I'll see you soon, all right? Once said on my dying day, they could put on my tombstone. Nelson Stewart, husband, father, head football coach. It's my life. It's so important to me. I don't feel like I was just put here to play football. I remember what it was like to look up at somebody, and I just want to continue to uplift those kids to chase their dream and to never settle for anything less. Being a coach is an unbelievable responsibility. If you really get to know the kid and what's in their soul, and they can trust you. That's what being a coach is about. Three, three, one, two, three.